My name is Joseph Chang, and in this video, I'll present the paper, When the Tab Comes Due, Challenges in the Cost Structure of Browser Tab Usage. So before browser tabs, uh, the internet in the 90s uh, was characterized by researchers as a recurrent system, because at the time, users would frequently revisit the same websites. Uh, so research uh, then focused on bookmarking uh, to allow users to revisit websites uh, more efficiently. Today, our online activities have become uh, much more complex. So instead of going to the same websites, we frequently explore large collections of web pages uh, to support our complex tasks. So for example, uh, doing a product comparison using listicles, blogs, and online reviews. Um, so while tabs have allowed us to open many web pages uh, without cluttering our desktops, um, as online tasks become increasingly more complex, uh, we may start to see the scaling advantage diminishing. So what does research currently know about how people use tabs? Uh, the last in-depth study was conducted more than a decade ago. Um, and since tabs were relatively new at the time, uh, the study focused on uh, the benefits of using browser tabs over uh, only using browser windows. However, there is growing evidence that tabs today are also causing issues, uh, commonly referred to as tab overload or tab hoarding. Recent surveys have showed a significant segment of users uh, now have issues with browser tabs. However, our survey also suggests that uh, there's more to this problem than the simple explanation that the user are just being lazy. So to understand why users keep and close tabs, we interviewed 10 researchers uh, for four times over a two-week period uh, to discuss their open tabs, uh, focusing on the issues they had encountered. We then, using these results, we then surveyed uh, 103 participants uh, from the broader population for additional context. So we found that people have varying thresholds for the number of tabs they keep. Uh, the median number was eight tabs, um, and around 67% reported that they have tab issues at least once a week, showing that this is now a common issue. So what issues are tabs causing today? We coded the interviews and we found four drivers pressuring users to close tabs from feeling overwhelmed to difficult setting focus uh, to hardware-related pressure, such as screen real estate or computing power. Um, we also found users feeling shameful and embarrassed for not being more organized, uh, especially when they needed to share their screens with others. So with all these adverse effects pushing users to close tabs, what's preventing them from actually doing so? We found six pressures for keeping tabs open, uh, some of which were consistent with the study back in 2010, uh, such as keeping tabs around as reminders or as quick references. We also found new pressures that may not fit a rational economics view of cost structures. For example, uh, sunk costs, where the effort spent on opening tabs in the first place sort of gave them an intrinsic value even when they were uh, no longer useful for the users. Another one was a mismatch between the aspirational and the actual self, where users would collect more tabs than they can realistically process. Uh, one participant described her tab as uh, a big list that I was supposed to get to, but I never did. We also found participants who saw their tabs as a manifestation of their mental model during complex tasks. So they keep sets of tabs around so that they can resume their tasks in the future. Relatedly, they also pointed to how it can be difficult to judge the relevance of their tabs during these complex tasks. Um, one said, none of these tabs seem completely wrong, but they're also not exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, another participant pointed to how the relevance of the same tab might even change over time as they explore more information. So what we found are these opposing pressures, uh, pushing users to keep and close tabs, uh, causing frictions in their workflows, um, making it hard for them to manage their tabs effectively. So what can we do about it? Um, one of our design implications uh, was based on the observation that users manages their attention at the task level and not at the tab level. Uh, so future browsers should make it easier for users to organize their tabs uh, based on their task structure so that they can efficiently manage them and context switch between tasks. Um, so one direction is to make the task boundary uh, more salient. Uh, and Chrome has re recently introduced uh, the feature tab groups uh, with, that could better support this. Uh, but we also heard from participants that it is still very costly to always remember to put your tab in the right group. Um, so another direction is to make predictions about these task structures uh, in the browser to help people manage their, their tabs at the task level. Uh, so for example, we can look to search engine algorithms uh, that have long been able to group queries into larger tasks with very high precision. So to conclude, we revisited today's tab browsing behavior a decade after the last in-depth study uh, that only focused on the benefits of tabs. Um, we found that tabs are causing issues for a significant segment of users today, and then we identify a set of opposing pressures causing this, these issues. Please see our paper for more details, uh, including an additional study for developing a set of design implications. Thank you.